Good morning, it's Brian at Fitzpatrick's Garage Dublin Road for there. I will show you this 2016 Hyundai Tucson 1.7 diesel and this is an executive model, black exterior with a beige leather interior. Uh, Fitzpatrick's Garage, we are a garage in Kildare Town just off the M7 motorway, so about 30 minutes south of Dublin between junctions 12 and 13 off the M7. If you're familiar with the Kildare Village Shopping Outlet, we're very close to that, about three minutes from that. If you want information in the car, 086-843-1945, or if you come to the garage, please do just ask for Brian. Anyway, let's have a look at the car. So we are a main Hyundai, a main Honda, and a main Mercedes dealer in Kildare Town, and there's also garages around Nace, Carlow, and Tullamore as well. So this exact car, we actually sold the car brand new to its first owner. The car has a full dealer service history at the garage. So in terms of um, specification, as we were saying, it's an executive. Significant parts of an executive. At the front, there's a small little skid plate along here, which matches the color of the grille. Daytime running lights along through here. Along through here, there is front fog lights. And in through here, then we have a nice big long parking light, dipped headlight here, full headlight here, and also in the centre here between the two lights there's a cornering lamp which means when you turn to the right in this case if you were driving along and you turned that direction or vice versa that direction you will get extra light in those peripheral areas which are normally not lit up and I tr well trust me when I say this it actually makes a big difference if you're pulling into a dark junction you will see peripheral areas which are normally not lit up and especially things like pedestrians and stuff like that Secondly, after that, a 17-inch alloy wheel is standard on this particular car. Uh, in terms of condition, the car is 161, so it's very, very, um, I suppose, condition you would expect to be very, very good because the car is so new, and it is. The car is all original, so each panel, including the wing, the two doors, around onto the quarter panel, are all in very nice condition. The bumper is in very nice condition. The boot lid is in very nice condition. The rear right-hand side, quarter panel, door, driver's door onto the wing all very nice condition and then the bonnet is in good condition throughout as is the front bumper so if you come to look at this car on the outside so far I would say yes you will be very very happy the roof has these two roof rails which I think are quite nice and they just complement any other light coloured areas of the car around to the side of the car the car will have privacy glass on the rear so all is UV tint uh, to protect against the sun, but the privacy glass in the back, okay, that's handy if you want to hide stuff, but also in terms of keeping the sun out of children's eyes, it's also quite useful. The rear tail lamps are nice LED, so along here there's a big LED strip and then LED little lights all the way across the back. Parking sensors are going to be standard across here, and because we're looking at an executive, it is also going to have a reverse camera as well. In terms of the boot on the inside, down here, oops, better unlock it. The cream leather is really nice, goes really well with the black. So, okay, the previous owner, just in case you're wondering, has upgraded and gone for a very, very similar car, except for this time he went for what's called a premium, which has a full glass roof as well. So, in terms of the inside, under here, you will have a full size, identical wheel to what's on the outside of the car. That boot is in really nice condition. The plastics on both sides are good. The floor of the boot itself is quite good. This parcel shelf obviously covers things. And then after that, if you want, you can move this. Oops, let's try it from the other side. That moves backwards. And the reason you would do that is you can let this back. And if you move around to the side of the car, this now is a little bit more difficult to one-handed. So we might do a quick shimmy. So this handle down here, if I grab that, the seat is now reclined, so this side I haven't done yet, this side I have done, just to give you an idea of how far it reclines. Okay, at a glance it doesn't look like a massive amount, but trust me, if you're sitting in the back of a car like this, I suppose to mimic the other side, would be sitting more upright, grand, it's comfortable, I still have loads of headroom and all that kind of stuff, but a long journey, that is just lovely. So you're sitting down like so, loads of space ahead of you, very, very comfortable, but I suppose for adult occupants. In terms of the back, I also have vents over here so I can control the air conditioning in the rear area and then after that I've got little kangaroo pockets behind and even clever things like the way they're molded just to give you more legroom ahead so all very clever and all very straightforward in terms of the seats back here I will also have an armrest along here and then down through there I have Isofix over here and where I've just been sitting over there there's also Isofix in through here as well so for child seats uh, you won't get three child seats across the back of these cars, we have tried it. 
maybe a booster and two child seats, but it's not ideal. But um, there's not many cars in the market that actually do do that. So, but two child seats across the back with eyes affix and one occupant in the middle is doable, alright. The beige leather looks really well, in fairness. If we have a look along here, it's all in very nice condition. This previous owner, the back of this car looks like it had absolutely no wear whatsoever, even onto the door cards. Electrics back here, child locks over here. That's in excellent condition. And it looks really well with the black. In terms of the front, the executive has some nice features up front just while we're on the outside. I'm just going to turn off the car because if I lock the car, the wing mirrors retract. If I unlock the car, the wing mirrors uh, de-retract. That's the wrong word. That's not even a word, but anyway, you, know, you get the idea. Headlights as well are automated, so it means when I walk out, I can unlock my car. Headlights will come on, and then when I lock it, headlights go off. But it allows you a time to walk up to your front door and get your key and light up your driveway, which is useful. Rear and front electrics along here, chai locks in through here, chai lock for rear, windows along here, centre locking and then folding in the wing mirrors in through there. Over here, these are just controls for height of the lights, brightness of the dash, traction control. While we're talking about traction control, that is a safety feature, so we've got anti-lock brakes, emergency brake distribution, emergency brake assist. There is steel bars all the way down the side for side impact protection. Driver, passenger airbag, which is two stage depending how close you sit to the wheel. Down the side of the seat and the side of the passenger seat you will have curtain airbags, sorry, not curtain, side impact protection airbags. And then all the way down to here, in the front and the rear, for side impacts you have a long curtain airbag. In terms of the inside of the car, the first significant thing that we see on the executive is navigation. So touch screen along through here, so uh, we can have, what am I doing? You can zoom in obviously and zoom out. I'm just gonna close that over, that's just a quick shortcut. And then over here we can superimpose information onto the screen or we can have full screen. All very nice and easy to use. Nav in through here, where do I want to go? It's TomTom -Tom in terms of the operating software. This is touchscreen, so a list along here, what stations do I want to listen to? After that then media, if I'm using things like the USB connector down through here, or if I'm Bluetoothing music from my phone. And down here then, heating controls, so passenger, driver, front and rear windscreens. And because it's an executive, you get heated front seats. Where you want the air to blow, and all very easy to use after that. Six gears forward, and then if we go for reverse, we get a big reverse camera up there with, I'm just gonna turn on the car for a sec. Okay, so dynamic guidelines. So if I turn left or right, it's giving me my trajectory of where I'm going, which is good. Uh, down here, we also have steering, flex steer, which means that you can manipulate how heavy or light you want the steering wheel to be. Hill descent control if you're in very unusual off-road terrain. Auto stop start, which stops the car engine running at appropriate times like when you're sitting in the traffic like to save fuel parking sensors on or off after that over here bluetooth for mobile phone in through here and volume controls for radio and media down through here trip computer which is very comprehensive fuel consumption okay first menu let's go right first menu fuel consumption and how much fuel is left and current speed navigation radio and tire pressure monitors, next service due, and various settings over there like that after that. Uh, cruise control with a speed limiter is also done through here. Headlights we were saying are automated. Wiper controls are over through here as well. In terms of the engine in these cars, that is a 1.7. Actually, the fuel reading on it's quite bad at the moment, and the reason being that the car has spent probably three hours in a valeting bay running, so it's gonna have a really bad readout. But normal people, in terms of fuel efficiency, liters per hundred kilometers, you're somewhere in the region of six or so liters per hundred kilometers, which is going to bring it to the 45 to 50 mile per gallon range. That's realistic, that's combining town and long runs. If you are somebody that's getting out on the road a bit more, you would put that into the mid fives in terms of liters per hundred kilometers. It's extremely rub uh, reliable, uh, extremely robust, Things like uh, gearboxes, turbos, intercoolers, injectors, all that kind of stuff. No trouble at all with these cars. Warranty in this car, 2021. AA cover, 2021. And in terms of part exchanges, we always have a massive amount of people looking for second-hand cars, so we'll always be able to make you an offer on the car no matter what you have. So any kind of trading, give us a shout. If you're down the country, give us a shout, 0868431945, and I'll be able to discuss that over the phone even before you travel. In terms of financing, we deal with eight major lenders, which means we get the most competitive rates in the country. So, uh, again, we can quote that over the phone, no problem, or if you come to the garage, we'll go through how that works. Um, lastly, just in terms of driving on the car, you've seen what the car looks like. I mean, it's a great package, it's really high spec, it's easy to run. Road tax are saying 200 quid for the year. 
it's going to give you some financial certainty in terms of your motoring costs because your warranty and AA cover is going to cover you if you ever have any problems or anything like that. Um, and they are the best-selling car in Ireland in 2016 and into 2017 as well. And there's a reason, because they suit so many people for so many different things. So you've seen around the car, let's just have a quick look at the acceleration on the car. It's a really nice engine, there's good pickup, but let's have a look. So just to give you an idea, say for example, normal real-world setup, let's get the trip computer onto um, kilometres per hour. So let's accelerate now from 1500, from about 30, um, 30 kilometres an hour, which is normal real-world driving. So second gear. into third, car pulls along very nicely. And again similarly, in this kind of case, 2000 RPMs, we're doing about 50 kilometers an hour. So let's see if you want to accelerate quickly up to 100 kilometers an hour, if we floor the car from now. So this car basically is available for sale now. It had two services done. The service intervals in these cars every 30,000 kilometers. So the car is currently reading about 65,000 kilometers. One thing I would say, yes, that is above average mileage. Um, however, the price is below average pricing for an executive Tucson of this year. So for somebody that's going to do maybe lowish, if, so, if you're doing high mileage, this is probably not the car to suit you. So um, you're better off starting off with something with really low mileage as a good uh, foundation. But if you're somebody that's doing you know, relatively normal mileage, this will equate an average out over the next three or four years into an average mileage car for somebody like yourself. But this allows you to buy an executive 2016 Tucson at a price that's not normally accessible. So, um, as we were saying, if this car is of interest, I'd love to hear from you. Brian is my name, 0868431945. Or if you come to the garage of Kildare, please do ask for Brian. Thank you for taking time to watch if you've managed to watch to the end and appreciate your time.